Gary Halbert was one of the greatest marketing experts of the contemporary age. Sadly, he's no longer with us. He died about 15 years ago. But anybody who is involved in any kind of marketing knows of Gary Halbert, possibly read his books, signed up for his newsletter, or attended one of his workshops. I bought many of his books and his newsletters. And I heard this one story where in one of his workshops, he asked his uh, attendees, he said, give me one ingredient. I'm going to start a business, say a snack bar or something like that. Give me what is the one ingredient over all other ingredients uh, that I can have. It could be anything. And all kinds of answers came to him. People answered with all kinds of different scenarios. Give me, uh, if it's a snack bar, a really good recipe, really good branding, a really good location, really whatever. So he said as his answer, once he heard all of their answers, what would it be? The number one ingredient, he said, a hungry crowd. Give me a hungry crowd, which leads to today's topic, which I'm talking about today with you is marketing. In business, if you don't have a market, you really don't have a business. I don't care how good the idea is. And I've seen this played out a million times. I've seen so many businesses come and go and fail and turn into ghost towns because nobody showed up to buy the product or service. And there are many reasons why this happens. I'm going to talk about a few of them. But if you don't have a hungry crowd, if you don't have a constituency of people, a section of your community, be it local, national, or global, who are eager to come up and vote with their wallets and say, yeah, I want what you got. Can I have two? Give me more, especially if they can come back month after month, year after year, repeat clientele, which is the basis of all marketing. But when, it ta when you talk about the actual market, nothing else matters until you've established this, this one criteria, a hungry crowd of people eager and willing to step up and buy what you got. Now you look at some businesses and you go, well, why does Starbucks sell coffee at double the price and people still line up for it? Well, they're hungry for it. What about the body shop? They're selling moisturizer. Why is it that people line up and buy their products? I mean, there's many, many, many examples that I can give you like this. And there are many reasons why companies like that succeed. And they've determined ways which involves marketing to create a hungry crowd. So it doesn't matter if the, the need is real or imagined. You know, we buy a lot of stuff. Like we don't need to go to the movies. It's not a necessity. Our survival is not dependent on it. So a lot of products and services we buy because we perceive them as something that we really want. We become hungry for that product. And therein lies the key to all of marketing. I believe all businesses start at the kitchen table. I don't care if you're talking about Amazon, Nike, Starbucks. At one point in time, it was a simple conversation between two or more people at the kitchen table. Think of Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak who started Apple. It started at the kitchen table while it expanded into their garage. And they created a product, almost like a prototype, and Steve went out and sold it and there was a need for it because there was an order. I mean, he's a good salesman too and that's important. All of the rest of the marketing I'm going to talk about in this series. But for now, I just want to be very clear on this that you need a hungry crowd. If, if there's nobody willing to step up, you don't have a business. I know I've said it before and I'll say it again. I've seen many businesses start and I've heard many people go, this is a great idea. And they start it and they invest. They invest everything and they lose it in a year. I've seen this so many times. It's heartbreaking. And I can tell you why. Why? I'm going to touch on this real quick and I'm going to close off. Why do so many fail when it comes to this basic concept that I'm talking about? I think the real reason is they become blinded. They become delusional. 
They fall in love with their idea. They lose objectivity. I've seen it. People just hang on to their idea and they're like, oh my God, I can't show this to anybody because it's so good. And uh, nobody wants it. I mean, it might look good on paper, but eh, in the end, nobody really wants it. So I recommend that you start small, put your ego aside. You know, I wrote about this. I've written a manual uh, years ago for photographers and I dedicated a whole section on ego. You got to put your ego aside and you got to be able to look at things objectively and you have to be able to uh, take small steps to determine if there's a hungry market. And this is where so many fail. They go in, they fall in love with their idea, they remortgage the house, they throw $200,000 at this business. Six months later, crickets. There's nothing. In his book, The 4-Hour Work Week, which I highly recommend, and his podcasts, Timothy Ferris, at the end of the book, he said, there's a few books that I would recommend. Two of the books I happen to have I was so freaking happy to hear that. I was like, yes, I'm in good company. But one of the books that I'm going to recommend to you right now that Timothy Ferris had recommended was How to Make Millions with Your Ideas by Dan Kennedy. If you're interested in this topic, go buy the book. It's on Amazon. Now, it was published in 1996. You got to get over that fact. It doesn't matter that it was, what, 25 years ago or so. This is one of the best books I have ever personally read. I bought all of Dan Kennedy's books. He's one of the best marketing experts out there. And, but I would place this one as probably one of the best number one books. If it, if it comes to running a business, when it comes to learning how to run a business, when it, when it comes to learning core entrepreneurial principles, you've got to get your hands on this book. And you'll understand more so why it is so important to determine whether or not you have a hungry crowd willing to step up and buy your product. Thank you.